from one commodity to another. This one, coffee, Starbucks, and Dunkin' Donuts both report their earnings tomorrow. The competition, of course, is fierce, and their results come at a time when the world is awash in a coffee glut. Jane Wells goes inside the Java Wars. Tall, non-fat latte. Americans take their cup of joe seriously. I prefer Dunkin' Donuts because the price is reasonable and the taste of the coffee is great. I don't like Dunkin' Donuts at all. I like Starbucks. It's a better coffee. When it comes to coffee, there's usually no middle grounds. Starbucks just tastes better. Starbucks is too expensive, and I can't pronounce anything on their menu. The good news is that globally there is a glut of coffee. Goldman Sachs says inventories are at a five-year high. But while big picture, the world is swimming in Java, when you get to the little picture, it's not so good in a small state where coffee is a big deal. Hawaii's Kona coffee industry is being destroyed by a small pest called the coffee berry borer, infesting as many as 80% of farms and some are being abandoned. So the USDA is spending a million dollars to try to fight the pest. Still, consumers should not see much impact in pricing, and a lot of attention is being paid to what's happening with coffee in the grocery store. Jeffries reports K-cup sales are up 20% from a year ago as prices fall. And bagged coffee sales are seeing new, lower-priced competition. A rich, never-bitter taste, cup after cup. Javalia, owned by Kraft Foods, has seen grocery store sales more than double, according to Jeffries, perhaps helped by a sexy new ad campaign. But as all the major retailers report earnings this week, analysts say all of them will show double-digit earnings growth. Maybe when it comes to coffee wars, everybody wins. All coffee is good coffee. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells.